good morning dear children today we will do one lab activity are you ready in this activity we learn about the uh, relation between angle of incidence and angle of refraction and uh, snell's law uh, is it uh, snell's law and uh, next uh, we learn about the uh, refractive index refract uh, glass refractive index so what is the aim of this uh, activity so identifying the relation between angle of incidence angle of refraction so sin i by sin r is equal to constant uh, refractive index of glass so what materials we required cardboard white chart protractor scale semi circular glass lab pencil laser light these are materials required children let's do take a wooden plank which is covered with white chart draw two perpendicular lines passing through the middle of the paper children now let the intersecting point be o so mark one line as nn which is normal to the another line marked mm so uh, here mm represent the line drawn along the interface of two medium and uh, nn represent the normal drawn to this line at o so this is the nn this is the mm so this is the air this is the glass lab take a protractor and place it along nn in such a way that its center coincide with the o then mark the angle of 0 to 90 degrees uh, on both sides of the line nn so repeat the same on other side, side of the line so uh, the angle should be represent on curved line see here curved line the angle should be represent as curved line so now place the semi circular glass lab semi circular glass lab so that its uh, uh, diameter coincide with the interface line mm and its center coincide with the the point o see here children notice carefully this is the o children uh, point a laser light along the uh, nn in such a way that the light propagates from air to glass through the interface at a point o and observe the path of the laser laser light coming from other side of the disc there is no deviation point a laser light uh, a it's it along nn in such a way that the light propagates from uh, a to glass through the interface at a point o and observe it the path of laser light coming from other side of the disc so there is no deviation so there is no deviation so uh, send laser light along uh, in which makes 5 degrees 15 degrees uh, with nn and see that it must passes through the point o measure its corresponding angle of refraction 
See here, repeat the experiment with the angle of incidence of uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And note the corresponding angle of refraction. See here, children, 10 degrees, 7. Uh, uh, 10 is the incident angle. So, refracted angle is 7. 20 degrees is incident angle. Refracted angle is 13. So, 30, uh, you will observe 30, 40, 50 incident angles. Children, what did you understand in this uh, activity? When light travel from denser, uh, rarer medium to denser medium, refracted ray bent towards normal. So, the angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence. See here, children. Uh, I R sin I sin R sin I by sin R. So I is equal to 10 degrees. So R is equal to 7 degrees. Sin I 0 0.1736. Sin R 0 0.1318. Sin I by sin R 1.42. Is sin I sin R will be lano kanko daani ki me upadhyani sahayan dis kundi. Let put the manaku tenth class lopla miku problems untai gavati, sign value gun coda mu, avi untai gavati, ala chechu, let put the mikelo potem, upajani sahayanto, miru chendi. Manaku values good a manaku calculator loguda manaku confiscuntai. So twenty degrees R is equal to thirteen, zero point three four two zero, zero point two two four nine. Sin I by sin R 1.520, 0.3420 by 0 0.2249. So, uh, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, angle I is equal to 30 degrees, angle R is equal to 20 degrees. Sin I 0 0.5, sin R 0 0.34. Sin I by sin R 1.47. Angle I 40 degrees, angle R 25 degrees. Sin I 0 0.6427. Sin R 0 0.4226. Sin I by sin R 1.52. This is the values of sin I by sin R. So, uh, average uh, 1.52. So, uh, refractive index of glass is, glass is 1.52. Children, what did you observe in this activity? So, sin i, sin r for every i and r, note down the values in table. So, evaluate sin i by sin r. For every incident angle, we get sin i by sin r as constant. So, uh, relation between angle of refraction and angle of incidence. The ratio of sin i and sin r called the refractive index. Okay, children. Uh, this scientist name is Snell, Wilbur Snell. So, uh, this uh, Snell found Snell's law. N1 sin i is equal to N2 sin r. Or sin i by sin r is equal to uh, constant. Uh, this, lab, this lab activity we proved. We also proved sin i by sin r is equal to constant. Children, what did you conclude this activity? Yes. Uh, you will notice that notice that R is less than I in all cases. And uh, the refracted ray bends towards normal in each case. 
so when light ray travels from rarer medium to denser medium rarer medium is air denser medium is glass semicircular glass the values of r is less than the value of i and the refracted ray bends towards normal children write precautions in this activity by yourself thank you